My husband thinks that this sweater makes me look like Where's Waldo? I think it looks like French chic. Tell me what you guys think because it's a battle in this house. If you're new here, I am Hannah. This is Hannah Stevens Diaries. If you're watching this video or if you stumbled upon it, I'm guessing that you're already a new mom or you're about to become a mom or you're just a well-prepared queen. Either way, I'm super happy that you're here. I'm a new mom, I've been married for five years and I have always wanted to have a YouTube channel. I wanted to have a YouTube channel when I was 18. I'm now 25. My imposter syndrome held me back majorly. Did I ever get over that imposter syndrome? No, it's very much present still, but I'm not gonna let fear dictate my life. Life. and I realized that everyone is a beginner at everything they start so if you want an internet best friend or an internet big sister that's going to champion the good the bad and the ugly in life subscribe to my channel and get a new video every week or every other week if I get burnt out let's go ahead and jump into it so we're gonna have a little chat we're gonna have a little chit chat about breastfeeding because it's been on my mind this week. It's been so intense and overwhelming for me to imagine not breastfeeding anymore. I've been breastfeeding now for almost 10 months. It's a long time. It's a long time in addition to being pregnant. It feels like ever since I was pregnant, my body has not been my own. At least a year and a half now where my whole purpose physically has been to sustain another human life, which is beautiful and amazing, but also very challenging mentally and emotionally and physically. So yeah, it's just been on my mind and I just wanted to kind of do a video reflecting and just some takeaways that I have discovered from that place. I made another video about things I wish I would have known about breastfeeding before launching into the journey. So if you've not watched that and you're curious about this, I would definitely go watch that because I talk about very specific things like product recommendations and just crazy facts that you like I had never heard before that are so insane. Definitely go check that out if breastfeeding is on your mind. As he's coming up on 10 months here in a couple weeks, I've been thinking a lot about my plan as to when we're going to stop breastfeeding. When he was first born, it was always like, it seemed really far away. But now like he's almost 10 months, like it's just crazy. So now I'm really starting to seriously think about my plan as far as how I wanna do this and when I wanna do this. This decision and even processing, making the decision of course is bringing just a plethora of different emotions sad ones and exciting ones at the same time so there's pros and cons to both at least for me I've just been processing like what those are there are a lot of pros that I think of when it comes to stopping and the biggest one for me is just the convenience for me this is called the pumping station this is the reality of leaving your breastfeeding baby for one night. Right now, when we go on a date and he's back here with a babysitter, I have to pump while I'm out to make sure that my milk supply stays consistent. And that is really tough. Like, I've gotten used to it for sure, but it's really hard. It's really hard to be in the middle of a date and then have to go to the bathroom and pump, make sure that you're staying on top of it all the time. It feels like there's the, just this constant, like, you're never off duty. Escape and just have a night with your husband or a night away. You're still thinking about your milk supply, making sure it's maintained, making sure that you're not getting too full, making sure you don't leak through your clothes. Like there's just a lot about the convenience for me. And then of course there's the flip side of that, which is the mom guilt of like, how dare I think about my convenience? Like all that matters is my child. People always use this analogy, but the whole concept of putting your mask on before you put on your child's in an airplane, it's the same concept with this. He is starting to eat solids. He's starting to drink water. And then also just the physical benefits of stopping for me. I have a normal hormonal balance. Like I've been pregnant or breastfeeding and both of those are massive, massive hormone shifts. If I stop, I will finally have my hormones back to a normal level. And then along with that, another pro is that every, every woman's body is different with handling breastfeeding, handling pregnancy. There's no one size fits all. For me, um, I always heard that, oh yeah, you burn tons of calories when you breastfeed and you're gonna lose all the baby weight. That did not happen for me. And the more I talked to my other friends that are moms, other moms had the experience that actually their body held on to their baby weight while they were breastfeeding. So for me, I have still not lost any baby weight. And it's not because I'm eating crap, it's because my body is essentially holding on to that fat for fuel to produce milk. And I even feel so selfish even saying that that's a reason why I would wanna stop is for my own, you know, 
losing weight. That just seems like such a silly reason, but I have felt so uncomfortable for a long time now, like within pregnancy and now with breastfeeding and postpartum. Like I haven't felt like myself physically in so long and that's another pro of stopping. So it's just a lot of conflicting emotion and there's not only pros to stopping, there's also a lot of cons. A major con is that the emotional stability of breastfeeding for my son will be over. It's so easy when he's crying in the middle of the night or when he's really worked up to just automatically start breastfeeding him. It calms him down instantly, makes him feel comfortable and safe. That won't be there anymore. And that's terrifying. <laughs> it's just been such an amazing tool to use for consoling him. And now that that won't be there anymore when I choose to stop. It's also scary for the bond that I have with my son. Breastfeeding is so amazing and beautiful for that bond with him and I'm scared of how it's gonna change my relationship with him, how I'm gonna connect to him, how I'm gonna relate to him. My best memories with him in this whole journey has been breastfeeding him in the middle of the night and being groggy, but I'm just holding him and just taking it in and it's so beautiful and not like, that, that's not going to just stop. Like, I'm still gonna have those moments with him, but the intimacy that I experience with him in breastfeeding is, is going to be over. And that is so sad. And so I have to like process that also. And then there's this safety and convenience that I know that he's getting all the nourishment that he needs because he's breastfeeding. It's a very easy, simple, you know, he drinks this many ounces a day and he's good. You know, when that is gone, the anxiety that what if he's not getting all the nutrients that he needs? What do I need to focus on feeding him? There's just not as much of a safety and security because my body is literally producing exactly what he needs. The fact that I have to figure out with food and external things how to do that, it makes me just feel so anxious and overwhelmed. This is just a very transparent video. Like, I'm just... I'm just releasing all of my emotional thoughts because I know that there's other people out there that probably feel this way as well and it's also important to just talk about the real things like this is what this channel is about to me it's about talking about like I said the good the bad and the ugly this is a very real thing for breastfeeding moms is figuring out when this journey ends, how it ends now I'm getting to the point where I've kind of I've weighed the pros and cons and now I'm just thinking about my overall experience and like how did I get to to be this far in the journey? How did I get to this point like, and sustain this long term? Okay, the first thing that I would say helped me, if not the biggest thing for me, was understanding how milk supply works, how milk production works, how nursing works, hormones work. It was very empowering to have that knowledge and it helped me to wrap my head around what was going on and what I was feeling. And so I read, there's three books that are specifically really, really amazing. The first one I have is called uh, Baby Led Breastfeeding. This one was great. You can see it's all like marked up. And then there's a book called The Fourth Trimester, which I highly recommend reading in your third trimester of pregnancy. And it's about the newborn, postpartum, early breastfeeding world. I wish I would have read that in my third trimester of pregnancy because when you just have the baby, you're figuring things out. So I wish I would have had that earlier on, all that information. And then the last one that I would highly recommend is called The Art of Breastfeeding. That one was so cool to read. And there were facts in there that I just, blew my mind. So all of those books and all of my other breastfeeding essentials, I actually have linked in my Amazon storefront. I like to create these categories for you guys. If you ever want to go check those out and just like click of a button, go ahead and order it without having to look it up. The link is in the description if you want to check that out. And I wrote down, I took notes in my phone I've been looking at. Another thing that I wrote down was having my breastfeeding essentials, understanding what products I needed, but understanding what they all did. Those are all linked again in my Amazon storefront. I would say too, like with anything in life, there's an opportunity that we have to like look at the beauty and focus on the beauty of it and appreciate it or focus on the inconveniences. And obviously no one's perfect at, you know, balancing those things. But I would say with breastfeeding, to me, there was so much more beauty, wonder, and blessing in it than there was inconvenience. So I, I really, really tried to focus on that aspect instead of the inconvenience. And it really shifted my mind. Biggest tip 
of them all is get connected to a lactation consultant and start seeing him or her right after having the baby. I learned so much about my body, about how to manage everything, about mentally what to do from my lactation consultant. I'm a huge advocate for that. Even if it costs a little bit more, like it's just so worth it. If you want to breastfeed and you want to breastfeed for a long time, it's so awesome. And there's stuff that she caught and helped me through that I never would have known. Game changers, like my son was just crying all the time and I didn't know why and she figured out why and it changed everything. Hi, mister. Hey, buddy. Say hi. Do you want some banana? Oatmeal and banana. It's a good breakfast. Yeah, here you go. Pick it up. Pick it up with your hands. Where's this one? Yay. Yeah. All in all, I'm so thankful that I've breastfed. I am not sure when my journey will end, but I'm so thankful that I have been on it this long. There are so many blessings and so many benefits to it that I've really, really enjoyed and have been so special for us. It's overwhelming and sad to think that it's going to end ever. Yeah. But I'm so thankful. And if you guys want more videos like this or there's another facet of motherhood that you want me to talk about on a transparent level, I'm here for that. Like, that is what this channel is about. Thank you for watching. You want to say anything else, Mr. Banana? Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time. I'm going to feed him this oatmeal now. Oh, man. This is going to be a total mess. <laughs> Ooh, that's good stuff, huh? Bach's Bach's mug. Intro. If you're watching this and